The government of Grenada attempted on Friday to engage with trade unions on the pension matter following the recent High Court ruling, making good on its promise to adopt a consultative approach to the matter. Having promised immediately after the ruling to engage the trade unions, an invitation was extended to the Public Workers' Union, Grenada Technical and Allied Workers' Union, Grenada Union of Teachers, Grenada Manual Maritime and Intellectual Workers' Union, Seamen and Waterfront Workers' Union, Bank and General Workers' Union, Commercial Industrial Workers' Union, and the staff associations representing police and prison officers. However, at today's meeting, there was representation by only the Seamen and Waterfront Workers' Union, the Grenada Maritime Mental and Intellectual Workers' Union, and the Prison and Police Associations. The government's delegation, comprising Prime Minister Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, Finance Minister Honorable Gregory Bowen, Foreign Affairs Minister Honorable Oliver Joseph, Attorney General Dio Forrester, and Permanent Secretaries Rhonda Jones and Mike Sylvester were all in attendance. The purpose of the meeting was to have consultation with the unions and to share preliminary information on the basis of the work done so far with respect to the implications of the judgment, including financial liability. Pension is a charge on the consolidated fund, which is a liability to the state, and as such, it warrants a national discussion to ensure sound decision-making. Resolution, therefore, can only be achieved through dialogue with all stakeholders. The door remains open for public sector trade unions to participate in the process if they choose to.